Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. And what the topic of discussion is going to be, how I personally feel, and maybe you do too. I believe that um, modern women, black women in particular, they act like Jezebel. They have the spirit of Jezebel. If you don't know what Jezebel is, it's basically a woman who was in the Bible, who used to put makeup on her face to attract to the men, you know, to make herself look sexy and, you know, all this stuff. But it wasn't just that. It was the fact that she was a manipulative, narcissistic, evil, wicked, conniving woman. Okay, so bad that whenever you heard the name Jezebel, you already associated that with whoredom, uh, promiscuity, evil, wickedness, especially if your grandmother or someone used to say that. Girl, you were dressed like a Jezebel, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, do that sound like any women you know, by the way? But what I'm going to do, uh, play a woman who's going to give you the definition of that. And then we're going to get deep into this, Jack. So let's go ahead and get into it. One second, I pull on your screen. Also, I may not be doing any videos Saturday. I'll be back Sunday with some live stream stuff, though. Let's get it. One second. I put on your screen. Women that go after married men are seen as negative and something that is unworthy and dishonorable, right? But I want to focus on another type of woman, and that woman is the wife, the actual wife, but not just any wife, a certain type of wife. And this certain type of wife, the Bible speaks of her, and she is called Jezebel. Jezebel is a type of woman that literally robs the authority from her husband. Jezebel literally robs the man of his masculinity and his leadership. And she wants to be in charge and she wants things to go her way or else everything is going to hell. Why? Because a Jezebel is a spirit that comes to control, manipulate and destroy. A Jezebel spirit is going to be someone that is going to want to be in charge but not for the glory of God. Someone that's going to want to be in charge for self gain. Now, I didn't want to interrupt that because I thought was, I want to give people who don't know what Jezebel, what they are, the definition of that. Everything that woman described was the actions and the traits of a narcissist, a toxic woman, someone who wants to control. Like she said, what Jezebel did in the Bible, if you ever look it up, and this ain't a religious program, but I'm using that as an example. Jezebel try to control her husband, control the kingdom. Everybody was scared of her. The prophets were running from her. All this stuff like that, I think, was Elijah that was running from her. Anyway, long story short. But she was a emasculating woman. And there's a lot of men right now who have emasculating women right now in their lives. That They are too domineering. They have bad attitudes. They're too controlling. They're only messing with you for financial gain. They have the soul and the spirit of a Jezebel. Not a righteous woman. Not a woman of virtue. Not a holy woman. Not even a woman that's just decent or pleasant to be around. They are Jezebels. Their mother is Jezebel. So, anyway, I got some more I'm going to put on the screen for you. One second, I put it up, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hit this narcissistic thing first, and then I'm going to give you um, this woman's definition of why. And this is from a secular standpoint. Then, uh, let's get to it. Sorry about that. Y'all got so much in my mind trying to fix this shit. Sis. Can I share a hard truth with many of you? You're a narcissist. Yeah, I said it. So many women like to call men narcissistic, but the reality is that modern women today are extremely narcissistic. How do I know? Everything is about you. You don't take accountability for anything. You don't be the person that you want the men to be. You believe that everything is about you, for you, and will always be about you. You think every man who does not give you everything you need and everything that you want is somehow controlling or manipulative, yet you're disrespectful, got a bad attitude, have not developed yourself to the level that you want other people to be. You want men to take care of you, though you bring nothing to the table but sex and a bad attitude. You think all men are dogs. Yes, you do as much dirt as he do. You just keep yours under the cover. You think everything about you. And if a man is not constantly pandering to you, telling that, telling you that you're wonderful and that you're everything that he needs, he somehow doesn't love you and doesn't treat you well enough. If we really want to use this word narcissist, 
women, take accountability and get yourself together because the reality is you're the real narcissist. Remember that today. That's right. The women are narcissists. Everything that women say that men are doing, women are doing it tenfold, okay? Like she said, if you're not pandering to these women, if you're not a weak, a weakling, a simp, a sucker that caters to a woman's needs, then you're a toxic man. You're you are showing toxic masculinity. You are a narcissist. You are trying to control me by not spending on me, by limiting the budget. That, that is stupid as hell, man. But, excuse me, that's what we're dealing with. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, as I put this woman on the screen, got to lower the music a little bit for her because she's a little soft-spoken on this volume. And she's going to talk to the women, too. All right, ladies, let's talk about five reasons why he doesn't see you as wife material and probably won't. The first reason is, and I feel like I'm going to have to say this every video because this is the main problem. You out here busting it wide open. Close your legs. Exactly. 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 It's hard for a man to choose a woman that he's that he knows is always busting it open out in public, twerking and doing all these twerk challenges online and shit like that. Close your legs. And you have all these different children, illegitimate children, also known as bastard children. Close your legs. And then you run around here with the herpes, with the gonorrhea, with the chlamydia, HIV. Close your legs. I mean, really, I have to agree with her 100 percent. Now, let's go ahead and keep going. Hear this every video because this is the main problem. You out here busting it wide open. Close your legs. Some of you ladies are out here pH balance off, smelling like tuna for a man that hasn't even paid your cell phone bill. That hasn't even taken you to dinner since ever. <laughs> okay. Stop sleeping. Now, what she's saying, she's not talking about using a man. She's talking about these women are so easy that they are willing to just lay on their backs. You know what I mean? They just want to lay on the backs and stuff like that for nothing. And you know what type of women those are because I can meet women like that. You don't have to do nothing for them. You don't, got, you don't have to take them on coffee date. You don't have to take them out. All you got to do is have a nice mouthpiece text them dm them and they are ready to spread legs there's women you know there's women like that i've dealt with them i've seen them. i know they still out there. i know they ain't stop when i stop dealing with them. i know they're out there so yeah let me go ahead and continue please one second one second please i'm trying to get it at the right spot well instead of barbie doll you look trashy and any man of means wants a Barbie, not a brat stall, okay? He wants to be able to take you around his family and his colleagues. And if you don't fit that mold, then girl, you will be reduced to a bed wench. Third reason is you don't bring him peace. A lot of women come with drama. You want to argue all the time. You want to complain all the time. You talk too much. He like just can't relax in your presence because you're talking too much about so and so and what they did and this, that, and the other. Like you're not peaceful. And oh. most men, especially if they're a hard worker, which I hope that any man that you're, you know, wanting to be with is a hard worker, they want peace. They have enough stress at work and in their daily lives. They want the woman that they're settling down with to be that peace to be that sense of home to be that sense of relaxation and so many women are not that fourth reason is you have a streets mindset a lot of women want to be at the club all the time want to be here and there all the time and it's not cute okay a lot of y'all think it's cute and it's not Men prefer homebodies. Men prefer good girls. And when I say good girl, I don't mean doormat. And the next thing is you lack basic domestic qualities. You don't take care of your responsibility. 
Every time he sees you, you have trash in your car. Your house, your apartment is a hot mess. It's not inviting. And men look at these things. They look at that and be like, oh, she's she's not going to be a good homemaker. Um, so I'm not about to take her out the workplace because she's going to have my house junky. So I just want to um, let these women speak. I didn't really interrupt these clips this time as much as I normally do. Because I wanted them to say the things that men have been saying for the last 30, 40 years. Okay? I want them to know. So there are women out there who know this, but they getting pushed back from the, the nasty women. You want to call them that. Now, I got one more thing to show you. Even with all this, all this video is a warning. It's my humble opinion for educational purposes. Blah, 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 blah. But, but, these are warnings to women out there. Pay attention and heed them. If not, this may what happen to you right here. I'm going to get ready to it. Here you go. Hi, I'm Carrie Martin from Maumelle, Arkansas. I'm single and about to turn 40. How do I find someone to spend the rest of my life with? I would say if I were you and I were 40 years old, I think I'd go, I think I'd get me a nice dog. Because at 40 years old, you're not going to have the pick of the crop. Because they're not there. And a man 40 years old usually is married or he's got a girlfriend or he just doesn't care about it. And I would say to you, you've got a slim chance of getting a good man at 40. Get yourself a good dog. Now, keep in mind, this was before Kevin Samuels came out, right? That was done in the 80s or something like that, in the 80s, right? That's before Kevin Samuels ever came up with buy a dog and die alone. You had people saying that shit way before Kevin Samuels even had it. So that lets you know that this has been going on for many decades, man. Many decades. Those women was just as delusional back then as they are now. And that was an old woman from an old program, um, Gertrude or something like that, way back then, who told them the same thing that men are saying today, same thing that um, the late um, Kevin Samuel said, same thing that I'm saying, same thing that many other content creators are saying, that your dating value on the dating market goes down as you age. Buy a dog. That's that, that what she said, but she said buy a dog so you get the crumbs up <laughs> when you drop. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, I may not be doing any videos Saturday. I got something to do. But I'll be back Sunday. I should drop. I think I'm gonna drop a video Sunday. But for sure, Lord willing, I will be able to have um, a live stream at 5:30 Central Standard Time this Sunday. 5:30 Central Standard Time this Sunday. Last um, live stream was live, right? I switch it over to members only, so nobody else can see it unless you're a member of the show. But I have it coming on. It's gonna be public. This go around this Sunday, so everybody can see it out there. Um, we do it, you know. Um, I said this once, I'm going to say it again. I don't mind um, helping people build their channel, um, promoting their stuff, but you only get one opportunity to do that. You you name your channel. If I decide to let you do that one time, don't keep saying, oh, this is my channel, check my channel, check my channel out, check my channel out, check my channel out, please check my channel out, check my channel out. Man, I'll suck your dick, please check my channel out. No, we're not going to do that, okay? We're not going to do that at all. You're going to get one opportunity, one chance. And it'll be up to the viewers if they want to go there or not, okay? It's just what it is, man. Because I didn't build my platform to build everybody else's, all right? It's just hard work. Everybody got to grind. But um, I love helping people. So I'm going to give um, every person that one opportunity to uh, let their channel name be known. After that, we move right on to the next person who wants that uh, help. After that, we just keep going with the content, okay? So it's just keep it orderly, you know what I mean, and respectful. That's all. Hope y'all having a good day today. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Take it easy now, all right? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh.